factors. In this video, let's find all the factors that divide into 64. And I like to use the technique. It's kind of like the rainbow technique. But um, first, 64 is a composite number, so numbers other than 1 in itself divide into. So what I do is I'll write a 1 here and a 64 over here. And what I do is try to find the numbers in between 1 and 64 that divide evenly into 64. So I also have this, a divisibility rules uh, chart that um, can also help you to know if a number divides into this or not. And I'll leave a link. It's a free download if, you, if that would help. Okay, so let's begin with 2. Does 2 go into 64? Yes, I know 2 goes into 64 because it ends in an even number. So we have 2 times 32 is 64. Next is 3, and if I add the digits together, which is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, it's not divisible by 3, so um, 3 will not go into it. Next is 4. Well, I know that um, for 4, the di divisibility rules is if the uh, last two numbers, that doesn't really help. Uh, but I do know that 4 divides into 64, and it goes in 16 times. Okay. And next, I try 5. It does not end in a 0 or 5, so 5 does not divide. Does 6 divide in? No, because 2 and 3 must divide into a number, and 3 does not. Uh, 7, uh, the rules for 7, basically it really helps if uh, you know the divisibility, the multiplications for 7. But 7 does not go into 64. And finally, does 8. And the rules for 8 are if you divide the number twice by 2, and if it's even, it's divisible by 8. So 64 divided by 2 is 32. 32 is divided by 2 is 16. So that's even. So yes, 8 goes in, and actually it's 8 times 8. So I'm not going to write it. Well, I can write an 8 here. Okay, now you can tell I'm down. There's no numbers between 8 and 8. So I have found all the factors. I am going to cross this out because I don't want to write it down twice. So now the factors of 64 are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. Now I'll show you a trick to make sure we have all the numbers. Let's create a factor tree. So we'll do the prime factorization of 64. And 2 goes into 64 32 times. Circle the 2 because it is prime. Now let's try this. Uh, 2 goes into 32 16 times. Circle the 2 because it is prime. Now 2 goes into 16 8 times. Circle the 2. We're getting a lot of 2s. 2 goes into 8 4 times. And then 2 goes into 4 2 times 2. Circle the 2 because it is prime. I'm now down to prime numbers. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2. So we can write it 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 6, or 2 to the 6. And so to know the number of factors that a number has, add 1 to the exponent. So 6 plus 1 equals 7. And so now what I would do, and if I had more than one exponent, I would multiply these together. So since there's only one number, 2 to the 6, it's 7. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there we go. We have all the factors. So the factors 64 are here, and the prime factors are right there. I hope that helps in finding the factors of 64. Thanks for watching. And Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.